Hi guys, welcome back to this special series on building 7 use cases of machine learning in Android. Today we will start the last use case which is regarding spam detection. So the idea is that in the mobile apps, before a user could comment and send the comment to the server and then the server can run its job and detect the comment as spam, we can include this spam detector model in the app itself so that before even before the user sends its send uh, even before the user can send this text to the server the app itself can block this so for this like all other uh, use cases we will first build a helper activity which will contain of an input text view and a button and an output text view which will tell whether the uh, text has been detected as spam or not so let's get started so right click on the helper package in the android pane and do a new activity so this will again be an empty activity we will just uh, name it as text helper activity and this should also create the layout for us so the text helper activity is there now let's control click on this layout file okay let's first import the r and now we can control click on activity text helper and we will come to the screen so let us close this left pane so we have some more space so let's let us just add a label at the top which will just so this is just going to be a label or a prompt So let's add the constraint to left let's keep it 16 and the top as 8 and let's change the text to say please enter your comment okay now below that we will add this edit text so you can see this underlined ones are the edit text where you can actually input a text so we'll drag and drop it here and uh, let's actually constrain this also 16 to both sides and uh, let's make the width as match constrained so that it fills up the screen and add a constraint to the top let's make it 8 And we can change the we can remove the text and we can actually add a hint right add your comment here okay and now we will have a button so this button let's keep it center aligned so we'll add both the constraint left and right we'll make both as zero so it's always in the center and just change the text for this to send comment or more a more clear message post your comment okay and okay we forgot to add the top constraint let's also keep it as 8 and finally we have the output text so this will be below the button uh, let's keep this also a big one so 16 both sides and layout width as match constraint and let's increase the text size so instead of 14 let's keep it as 34 sp and the default text we can change to output goes here okay so here our uh, activity is almost ready so actually we can just remove this label because we are using the hint so i'll just change the top padding to 16 so it comes a little down so the user will add his comment here 
and once he presses this button we will analyze the comment and just show whether the comment has been detected as spam or not so let's now add it to the main activity so first go to main activity and let's copy this method so we can go to on spam detection and for now we will just launch the text helper activity class now second step is to go to the layout for main activity activity underscore main copy the last button update the ids so this will be button 7 and this will come below button 6 let's change the text to go to spam detection it's not doing spam detection for now but it would be easier for us so on go to spam detection and uh, let's just confirm whether it is there in the manifest so yes it is there in the manifest also so let's run this and see if all the ui is rendering properly and our activity is getting launched okay so our app is running now and if i click on go to spam detection it goes to this new activity so there are no permissions required here because we are just asking the user to input our text so this uh, activity is ready in the next video we will integrate the custom model which has been built as part of a google collab to detect these spam comments see you there